morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Hello to, hello to everyone across the globe. Welcome to the introduction of the new VHub and thanks a lot for joining us. Let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Annalena Barr and I am the marketing manager of the Follows Group. And today I'm your host for this webinar. It is my pleasure to introduce you to our today's speakers. Andreas Edel is the CEO of Cropster GmbH in Innsbruck. As an IT professional, Andreas founded Cropster together with Norbert Niederhauser and Martin Biesinger about 14 years ago. Norbert is the CEO of Cropster Inc. in California and leads the US business out of Sacramento. Christian Follers is the CEO and owner of the Follers Group in Bremen. Christian is our digital leader within the company and responsible for IT innovations and developments. Marco Franz is our managing director of Follers in Hamburg. And in addition, our head of coffee for the whole Follers Group. Marco is a coffee person with heart and soul and our expert when it comes to specialty coffee logistics. In addition, our head of IT, John Hartholt, is also with us in this webinar. He will be also available for questions at the end of this meeting. So what we are going to talk about today is, of course, the move, followed by a short introduction of follows. When we will talk about what's, then we will talk about what's planned for Hub, maybe the most in interesting part for all of you. And after that, we will explain what happens with your data and what the timeline for the transfer, transfer looks like. So last but not least, we would like to invite you to join us in our journey, maybe even support us. And finally, mm. we will answer your questions in the Q&A. For this, please feel free to post your questions in the chat during the webinar, and we will have time to answer them in the end. Without further ado, uh, I would like to hand over to Andreas. Andreas, the yeah. stage is yours. Thanks, Anna. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here in the webinar. Uh, you see the plane is landing in the place where I live, actually, and where I am currently. Um, <clears throat> but that's not the topic of today. Um, I would like to explain you a bit why we did Hub. Um, we started Hub uh, five years ago, and it came out, out of feedback from our customers. Um, if you work with Cropster, you know we try to work very closely with you. Uh, we try to figure out and understand what you need and how we can further improve our products. Um, and gathering that feedback, we also looked at how coffee is being traded, offered, sold, and bought, evaluated, and all of that. And one thing we figured out at that time is that all or most coffee is actually presented via offer sheets. And these offer sheets have been sent via email to customers where they landed in a crowded mailbox. And the buyer experience in that was, let's say, horrible. Um, why was it horrible? Offer sheets were outdated because after you sent the PDF, it didn't update. So if a roaster looked at that five days later, the volumes were off <clears throat> or the coffee was gone. Uh, the definition or how the coffee was described was limited. Um, usually a coffee name, maybe a, a country of origin, some grades, and sometimes even a final cupping score. <clears throat> um, but there was a lot missing. So a lot of traceability was missing and flavor description. And all of these things are important in specialty coffee. That also left the buyer in a point where the buyer actually he didn't even know what the coffee is about. Um, and why did that not happen? Maintaining that list with all that information is very time consuming. Um, and that led to the point that buyers were not well informed and yeah, could not browse the coffees and find them easily. Um, and that was not just an inconvenience for the buyers, it was also a lot of work for the sellers because in the end, these questions came back and that also created the hurdle of market entry. And Hub was an idea to target that problem. We did set out 
to provide a platform for coffee sellers to easily and professionally present the coffee with all its information, meaning traceability, an app, uh, photos of origin. Uh, you can describe flavor notes and all of that things that we care about in specialty coffee. And we, we build it in a way that it's easy to maintain and updatable. <clears throat> On the other side, we looked at functionality to make it easy for the buyer to find a specific coffee, also with the goal to find the right coffees. Um, that's what we did when we launched Hub. <clears throat> and what we did see, um, pretty quickly Hub did grow. Uh, we received, or people signed up for around the globe. It was really a worldwide platform. And it became over the years one of coffee industry's most visited sites. Uh, I can compare it with uh, coffee newsletters and uh, blogs where um, the data is available. Um, <clears throat> and I think, you know, building a, a software product is a journey. You adopt it, you think about the next steps. Um, the number of data grows, you need to invest in the product, you need to think about different ways. It's a living thing. And <clears throat> I was thinking back, what's the, what's the achievement that helped it? Did it change something in the industry? And for me, it's one thing that stands out is how did change how coffee is presented. Um, because if you think back to the offer sheets where limited information is available, um, you didn't understand what the coffee is, M much was missing. And if you look at today and all the offers that are in the world of coffee sellers, they are pretty well described today. And I think that was the impact of Hub because before Hub, that was not the case. Hub did send a, set the standard for that. And I think we made the life of many buyers much easier with that in the end. <clears throat> so <clears throat> Hub saw this worldwide adoption. Um, Besides a listing of coffees, we also ran some auctions. And yeah, we had a good journey. And yeah, um, overall, we've seen a huge success in, um, in traffic on it. And one thing I would also like to add, why did we do up? Um, I think a buyer and a seller relationship is something very special. And the data that is exchanged and information is super important for both sides. So we thought, and we were in the position as Cropster as an independent supplier to the industry, and that gave us the position also to develop Hub as a platform, as an independent supplier. We were not selling coffee, we were not buying coffee, we were not competing with anyone on the platform. Uh, next slide, please. <clears throat> Um, you see here our first um, flyer that we used on SCA show. Um, um, what we, yeah, how we promote it up. Something when you do software and you collaborate closely with people who use it, you receive a lot of feedback. Basically, Hub should do this or that. Sometimes the wishes were competing against each other. But over time, um, we figured out that <clears throat> We had to invest in a major steps. Um, all the users on the platform wanted integrated payment, maybe a contract, but most importantly, they wanted to have integrated logistics and fulfillment. And we figured out we as a software supplier, and that's what we are, we are not in a position to do that. Eventually we decided um, we are not venturing into that and we as Cropster will not take the step. We did inform our sellers at that point, uh, told them about the decision. And at that time, uh, followers got in touch with us. <clears throat> Actually, they just did two weeks before that. <laughs> and But I have never met Christian in person for some uh, coincidence. Um, I didn't. Um, yeah, but one day then um, I got a request from the guy who's actually on this hub flyer on the left side. He's a roaster in Germany. And he asked for an exchange of uh, data with Christian followers um, because a Christian had an idea. Um, you know the rule that um, you will uh, be able to contact any person in the world with maximum six steps in between. Um, it proved out to be four people um, in coffee. And um, yeah, it did work out in the end. 
So now my screen is off, here it is. Um, uh, next slide, please. Um, I, we started to talk with followers and that impressed me. Um, what really impressed me at that point is how deeply followers as a, as a company with decades of history is thinking in digital ways. That was amazing and refreshing. Also the CEO Christian um, has a deep understanding how software works um, and they know how to run systems that work 24 seven. Um, they also know how to run a platform in several countries. They actually do that today. And also most importantly, Follers is also an independent supplier to the supply chain. And that was 100% important to us at the point. Um, when we moved forward, we realized that Follers idea is pretty much the feedback that we received from our users, what they would like to see on Hub. And we did see that Follers excels in that area and that they basically complete the service what Hub did well. Further out, that actually aligns with the vision what we wanted to do with Hub. Uh, to connect buyers and sellers in an efficient way. And we all, did all see that with followers. And that gives me, and gives me a very good feeling that this move was the right thing to do. And at the same time, I'm super excited how it will look. And with that, I would like to hand over to Christian. Andreas, um, can I say a big, big, big thanks uh, for the introduction. Um, uh, really, it has been a, a great journey so far with you, um, Norbert, and your really talented team. It was uh, one of the most amicable transactions I ever had. The, the handover process and uh, so a webinar like this uh, was a lot of fun and we learned a lot from you. So thanks a lot, um, really. And I'm really looking forward to meet you in person one day. So we will make sure that this will happen. <laughs> So, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself to you, uh, because not everybody will know me. Uh, I'm Christian Follers. I'm 40 years, eight, uh, uh, 48 years old. I'm married, actually, to a coffee trader named Ronya, and we together have a beautiful 20 months old son named Tios. Uh, since 1993, I'm actually learning and working in logistics and coffee. Uh, the last 21 years in Follers in various positions. I became owner eight years ago, and uh, I'm one of the four group directors. Uh, and at the moment, I'm responsible for IT, marketing, business development, compliance, and for our new site, Burris and Admins. Um, Anna, please change the screen. So yes, um, Follers has purchased Cropster Hub and Hub only. Um, so there are a lot of other successful products um, Cropster is offering. And um, so we will change um, with the sale of Cropster Hub, we will change the name and uh, the colors, um, but essentially it will uh, be a very similar look and feel for the time being. Obviously we will uh, use our um, famous uh, yellow and blue because this is the only colors we know at Follows. And um, so, what we actually did is think of, um, you saw the, the VHUB airplane and think of that we are a new airline um, with new colors and new logos. However, for the time being, it's the same old airplane taking off. Next slide, please. So um, just as a small teaser become, uh, before uh, I come into more details, I wanna, I wanna share my vision of uh, the future VHUB with you in what we call it in one sentence. So um, it will be your seamless transactional green coffee platform, which continues to provide you with great offer and search functionalities, gives you an efficient buying and selling experience and ensures the physical delivery by connecting multiple logistics partners. So let me explain that a little bit to you. So it is a platform already and it has great offer and search functionalities. Um, but what we think is what, what could be a tap better is obviously at the buying and selling experience. And what is uh, today missing is the link uh, to warehouses and logistics partners. So, but before I go into more detail about that, I would uh, really like to introduce Follows to you because uh, some probably don't know Follows and uh, that's a good opportunity. 
um, to introduce ourselves because you should be know who uh, you should know who you be really dealing with in the future. So I start off with some facts and figures. Actually, uh, we have a whopping two and a half million euros uh, IT spend per year. Uh, we operate in our traditional business 500,000 square meters of uh, storage place. Um, handle in excess of 250,000 tons of coffee every year and have 350 plus permanent employees. Um, almost nine years of experience uh, so far and uh, uh, going strong. We have uh, 50 trucks, um, 25 plus warehouses, 12 offices, which I will explain in a moment. In eight countries, we have 11 plus in-house IT experts and external ones, obviously, and one owner. And I always uh, say, uh, somebody got to do the job. Next slide, please, Anna. Well, uh, what, is, what is really um, important is, I think, not the facts and figures, and so, but what do we actually do and, and, and what do we do for our customers? And I, I believe that the best uh, explanation we have is in our mission statement. And um, I will read it to you and, and hopefully enlighten you after that and with a better explanation. In the complex world of commodities, our customers find in us a responsible acting partner who performs tailor-made and digitalized logistics services, links trade stakeholders, and gives them trusted advice. So what does that mean, really? Um, in, 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 the, in the field of, of, um, of commodities, I think uh, we run uh, very complex supply chains across the globe. And we manage that complexity for you. And I can tell you, sometimes we even tame pure chaos. Um, what, do we, what do we are? We want to be and we are the responsible uh, partner by your side. And we have many uh, successful uh, customer relationships to prove that. Um, we give you the service you need, uh, not more, not less, and actually so that you can concentrate on your core business. Um, we do that increasingly so with digital tools so that it better scales for you and for us. And um, one of the, the, the finest things we are doing is we link trade stakeholders. That is sometimes an amical um, uh, relationship and sometimes an adverse relationship, um, uh, an adverse relationship. So um, we sometimes need to mediate between the two sides. And we get phone calls every day where people say, how do you do that? How do you do this? Can you help us here? Can you do this? So please contact you, uh, us anytime if you have questions. We are happy uh, to, uh, to give advice um, and normally free of charge. So um, one more slide, please. Um, Another way you could look at followers is what I call five perspectives of followers. And these are people, commodities, customers, location, services. So we have very fine people uh, at followers. So we are normally experts in our fields, being at warehouse men, dispatchers, drivers, customer service representatives, quality managers, customs clerk, technicians, in-house IT consultants, silo operator, you name it, we have them all and they're all expert in their field. And they're all there to service um, you and to give um, really great service, which really makes a difference. Uh, in commodities, we mainly concentrate on coffee, cocoa, tea and metals. Uh, I myself, I'm a coffee man, to be honest. Um, so I, I like cocoa and tea and metals is well, different, um, I would say. And uh, so, um, but uh, we have a whole lot more, uh, which we call internally lovingly the rest. And uh, this is not in the scope of the webinar. Um, so uh, I will spare you that. Customers in coffee, uh, really, we, we work for traders, roasters, banks, processors. We really have large and small uh, customers. We have from startup to multinational, everybody. But what always stays the same is that we are always neutral and independent. And one thing which uh, is, is, is clear, VHUB or not, we will never be traders. So that's very important uh, to say and, uh, and to let you know. From location-wise, going from the east, we are in Moscow, Tallinn, Riga, in Germany, we are Hamburg and Bremen, you find us in the Benelux, in Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and Antwerp. Down in, in Italy, uh, we have uh, Operation in Trieste, Genoa, and the, par uh, the Great Partnership in, in Naples. And our newest uh, baby, obviously, in the UK is in Bury St. Edmunds, a tiny place uh, in the middle of Suffolk. 
all very different places, all follows inside, I can assure you. So from service wise, what we do is really from ship's arrival to coffee delivered to the roaster, we do it all. Um, actually, we like to believe that we have uh, six product segments. So one being transport, um, another being forwarding. We do everything warehouse. Obviously, this is the core of the core of what we're doing. We're doing production, meaning we're blending uh, and cleaning. In tea, we also flavor teas. Uh, we do contract logistics. So we design, build, and operate uh, special uh, purpose facilities. And in an ever-increasing uh, scale, we do digital services. Next slide, please. So two um, of our successful products here, uh, vConnect and uh, vInterface. So vConnect is, uh, is a growing platform, really, and it's your digital uh, gateway to the follows services and data. Uh, we have features like stock overview, stock downloads. Uh, you can do uh, all kinds of sample orders, uh, stock transfers and deliveries. It has um, uh, great user administration and more email notifications than you ever wanted in your life. So um, this is a platform which is being currently built, let's say, as we speak. Um, there will be new features coming uh, almost every month. Uh, we have a we have a pretty tight uh, and well and difficult development schedule, uh, and you you should uh, uh, see what's coming there. On the other hand, we have V interface. Uh, v interface is a professional interface solution uh, to really deeply integrate trade and production processes with all the fo uh, follow service offerings. That's a really um, that's a grown up tool for IT professionals and. Uh, obviously, um, we like to talk about this today, but uh, maybe you, you send us your IT specialist and uh, then uh, we, we hook you up on that one. So sorry to keep you waiting really um, for because obviously all of you are here to, to, to learn about the new VHUB and uh, well, I said, the old is new and the new is old. And, and, and this is really um, uh, what, what describes best what we are currently doing. Next slide, Anna, please. So uh, this, this is a little tough for, for non-IT people. And I, I wrote it down to, um, uh, I broke it down uh, because I, essentially I know IT, but I'm not an IT person yet. Uh, so maybe uh, one day I will come into this honorary fraternity. Um, so the, the, the first aim was to ensure the operation. So once we hand over, uh, Cropster gives us this, this special product. Actually, I think it's a legendary product really. Um, and, and really, uh, we ensure the operation, we maintain the traffic and all the functionality. So you can rest assured that we are actually doing this. So, and we're doing a whole lot more. Um, we are, um, uh, we did a software component analysis, uh, which was really important for us to understand uh, the ins and out of, uh, of uh, Cropster Hub. Uh, we did a security and code review. Uh, we planned for lift and shift. We found some, some problems there, uh, which made us, uh, let's say, um, um, uh, move to another lift and shift plan uh, than the original one. Uh, we built a whole new server environment uh, uh, in, in Follers, basically. And uh, currently we're doing a, a framework update. And I know that Casey Link is, uh, is also on the line. So, hey, Casey, um, good luck with that. And um, yeah. We are doing the rebranding. You saw everything will be in, in yellow and in blue. So that will be fantastic. These are great colors. And um, um, already on the 3rd of September, we will do integrating uh, integrate, integration testing uh, because Hub is not a standalone product, but it builds on other external software components. We do performance testing thereafter. The data transfer is scheduled for the 20th of October. Um, this year, actually, and um, and we will go live on the 21st October uh, 2021. And um, yeah, I'm I'm very uh, um, yeah hopeful and uh, and uh, that we can can do this. And then uh, Cropster Hub will become V Hub. So. Um, Having said all of the above, that's great, but I, I, I told you in the beginning that I wanted to go into more detail about what the vision uh, of, of, of VHUB is actually. And um, I described um, um, 
our vision in one sentence that it is, will be a transactional green coffee platform with this already existing great uh, offer and search functionality, that it will have a buying and selling functionality. And basically we wanna to connect to logistics uh, partners and logistics execution. So um, we looked at the way on how to best explain it to you. And, and actually what you see is that what we came up. So what do you see is on the left side, you see the seller side. You see on the right side, you see the buyer side and in the middle, the warehouse. And the seller and the buyer were always there in, in VHub. And, um, and actually there were some warehouses, but other than naming, there was no other functionality there. And so when we start on the upper left side, basically the seller will be able to offer coffee globally. And the buyers will be able to search um, coffee, coffees globally. And that is what we call connecting. And Andrea said, yeah, actually it was connecting and is still connecting and works really well. So, but the next step is that really what we wanna build uh, custom made for VHub is that the seller size can quote coffees, that the buyer side can bid on coffees and actually that they do a buy and sell transaction. We, we put this all under the label negotiation and contracting. So that's brand new. Uh, that's something which we have to develop. And um, like Anna Elena said, we are, we are looking for some, uh, some help there, um, people who wanna give us guidance. Um, so, and we're looking forward to that. And then but where we originally come from, the, the transaction, um, the uh, really the physical um, or the documentary transaction behind the scenes, that is basically all in blue. And that is already built in vConnect. It's already there, it's live, everyday people using that. We have more than uh, 230 companies signed up to that product. Uh, and um, believe it or not, it's for free. So. Uh, it is it is it is a great uh, thing because you can release coffee. You can trans basically the warehouse will, will then transfer coffee and the, the new owner will accept it. So the, the ownership uh, change is after the buying and selling a very important step. So that it, the, the coffee changes hands. So and we will execute this. Uh, we execute this via VHub and we want to uh, via VConnect and we want to bring that to VHub and make it a seamless experience. And last but not least you still want to receive the coffee. So there must be a function for the seller to send it. The warehouse or a transportation company need to deliver. And basically, finally, and that's what we want, that the roaster just is able to receive the coffee. And that's what we call and we put under the label physically the delivery. So that is that is really what we, what we plan at the first step. Um, we have, I can tell you, a lot more um, ideas, um, but they are for later. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you, I could give you a vision of what will uh, what uh, VHub will be in the future. And uh, I'm looking forward to, to some questions later. And back to you, Anna. Thanks a lot, Christian. We have a lot planned and are pleased about all those, those who want to join us and be part of it. Nevertheless, data protection is an important topic to us. And Norbert will explain what the transfer means for you in detail. Yes, so um, I will go a little bit into the into the details. What will happen here? So, what does this mean for you as a seller or a buyer on Hub? Um, so, the, the shops and their info will move to VHub um, automatically. Uh, of course, you can opt out. So, uh, we sent emails out to everybody on on the platform with an opt out link. Um, if you are not planning to move over, please let us know by mid-September. Um, also, if you don't find this email, just contact us as always. So this hasn't the, 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 the soul and the way we do business at Cropster or, or at Falsas is not changing. So we are always service oriented. Just send us a, a note if you have any questions or need any details. Um, then the buyer accounts will also move. So same thing, you can opt out. And all the data, of course, we are a European company. We are bound by C uh, GDPR. That's the general uh, data protection uh, regulation from the European Union. So we'll take this very seriously, not only because of the European Union, because we value our customers and our partners' data. So that's also at the core at Cropster uh, and also at the core at Follows. And we take this very serious. Data is our business. And uh, if you 
don't wish that data to be transferred, let us know. And in the case you wish to be it, it to be transferred, we will transfer it um, with the highest level of, of security and, and care. Um, I just wanted to um, also tell you that your username and password will stay the same. This is a wonderful thing. So you don't have to uh, re-sign up or do anything new. Um, but you might ask like, what happens with my password? Are you giving the password to follow us? Is Christian followers now having all our passwords? And that's not correct. So uh, the way it's done, and it has been always done also at Cropster, uh, is your passwords are fully and, um, and strongly encrypted. So nobody actually can see it. None, none of the Cropster employees or owners, and uh, that will stay the same at Follows. So your, your, your passwords are always safe with us and in our systems and will stay safe. Um, and if you could uh, switch to the next slide, please. Um, yeah. And um, <clears throat> so I, this is the this is actually the bigger thing. So I, on the on the on the on the technical tech, technical side, if you have any questions, please let, let us know. Um, but I would like to to give a big big thank you. Uh, it's uh, you look we when you do software as we do for fifteen years now um, and work with so many people in the industry. Uh, we are very passionate about what we do, and we it, it was a long and hard decision for us to let go of uh, of Hub. All of our software services, and uh, Christian mentioned it already, I would like to reiterate, Crops to Origin, Crops to Roast, Crops to Lab, uh, Crops to Cafe, and everything in the middle will stay with Cropster. That all stays Cropster, that's all our products. So it's really only uh, a small piece, which is crops the hub, which moves. But even small pieces, these are our, our babies. And uh, having found a good home uh, was extremely important for us. So I am really excited. I'm really grateful that we've found this connection to, to follow us. And we feel uh, extremely good about uh, this, this transaction. Um, because we, we, you know, we stand there every day talking to you, our customers, <clears throat> um, giving us feedback, having this, this personal relationships, um, and uh, we would like, like to do so in the future. So I feel like with that transaction, we have not uh, sold anything out uh, or done anything which would not comply with, with the crops, the way of doing things. So it's been a great journey so far. Um, thank you very much, everybody who gave us feedback, everybody who... <clears throat> uh, was our customer and um, on, crops the, on Crops the Hub, everybody who is our customer and stays our customer with all our other products. And um, I think there will be there will be new and more ways of uh, partnering with, with followers in the future. So that's, um, that's also a very exciting aspect, nothing we can really talk about today, but um, at least something we, we feel uh, might, be, might be happening in, in the future. So thank you again. Uh, thank you, our customers. Thank you, Cropster team. So the, all the developers who have worked hard to make this happen. And thank you, Follows, for taking over this uh, new responsibility and taking over the, the baby. <laughs> so Norbert, <laughs> thanks a lot. We need to thank you for trusting up to keep uh, to trusting us to keep this uh, great product uh, alive. And um, it is in our best interest that you may be sellers, the producers um, or buyers continue to use Hub. And if Christian didn't already convince you of this in the first part, Marco will now make it clear once again why you all should uh, stay on board. Marco, Thank you, please Anna. go ahead. <laughs> so hello also from my side. Uh, many of you know us because you are already a client or we are in touch. Um, so quite important is if you don't know us yet, your first question will be, do you know specialty coffee? Do you know how to handle specialty coffee? And do you know how to store specialty coffee as well? And I can clearly say, yes, we know. So let's, let's give us, uh, let's give you, you some ideas. So in at least seven locations out of 12 are working for specialty clients like you. For a better understanding where we are working in specialty coffee in the Follows Group so far, here are the locations. In the UK, Bury St. Edmunds. In Germany, Bremen and Hamburg. In Russia, Moscow. In Belgium, Antwerp. And last but not least, in the Netherlands, Amsterdam and Rotterdam. 
I have two examples for you. So two example locations. The first one is Bury St. Edmunds. I would say that's a pure specialty location. So 100% of our clients there, specialty traders or roasters. So our colleagues in Bury are absolutely specialists for specialty coffee. So, and by the way, we have a one internal record in the group related to specialty coffee in Bury. So we unload one container with 62 different lots in one shipment. That's awesome. The second example is Hamburg. So Hamburg is a mixed location, commercial coffee and specialty coffee as well. On the commercial side, we handle bulk coffee for silo blendings, cleaning and stuff like this. And on the other hand, we have the specialty coffee sector. What we did over the last years for the specialty coffee sector was, for example, we prepare or we equip a fully warehouse with rack system. Why we do that? It's simple, at least. It is easier to handle smaller lots, for example, carton boxes as well. And by the way, the order picking is faster and the work is for our dockers easier. In the fact that the coffee specialty market is growing a lot over the last years, we decide we have to create a platform for the specialty market. In 2019, we had the go live for our customer portal reconnect, which is mainly used by our specialty coffee clients. As you can see here on the screen, there are some figures from our specialty coffee in the group. At least we are working in seven locations, more or less 200 customers, 500 online users, 4,800 sample orders per year, and 6,000 deliveries. That's quite nice, I would say. Because of our experience over the last years, we do think we know what we have to do. Furthermore, we are always ready to learn and develop new projects and ideas to get better. Which brings us to my last point. If you have the time and you are willing to help us with feedbacks, positives or negatives, it doesn't matter, it, it will help us to get better and bring the VHub on the next level. So if you are interested, please sign up for our VBody team and we will thank you that with our sensational VHub t-shirt as a gift. I would say, yeah, Please join us, help us to get better. And that's it from my side. But before we start the Q&A, one last slide and I will hand over again to Christian. Thanks a lot, Marco. Uh, thank you for, for sharing uh, our um, passion for specialty coffee. Yeah, one more thing. Um, so um, I wanna share uh, one good news with you. And Rehab will be for free until the end of March, 2022. Um, and then we really expect uh, to have a whole new value proposal for you for Hub. Uh, what does that mean? It means that we will have new functionality ready and then we will um, propose a whole new pricing model. So uh, until then, really enjoy Hub. It's a great tool. Propster has done a magnificent, a magnificent job on this. And yeah, thanks very much for listening and uh, thanks for your interest in Hub. Uh, back to you, Anna. Christian, thanks a lot. Um, thanks a lot also to the other speakers. Uh, thank you, Marco. Thank you, Norbert. Thank you, Andreas. Um, you did a great job. We have now time to answer your questions from the chat. Um, let me quickly check if we received any so far. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to post it uh, in our chat now directly. And um, we are here to answer. Um, okay, Christian, um, we haven't received any questions yet, but uh, we prepared another slide. Um, do you want to explain where you see Hub within the coffee sales activities? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, well, how we see it today, our customers are really doing uh, sales via phone. They do have emails. Um, uh, emailing and, and, and basically their offer list, as Andrea said, uh, maybe also via the, the homepage. I think Instagram is a great tool to also capture some attention 
and you maybe have a, uh, a shop, which is obviously a very advanced, and we see Hub really as one um, addition to that, that you can really um, uh, work on all sales channels. And um, more than that, uh, when your, your sales increase, you also basically have to have a, a good answer uh, to, uh, to your back office. And I think, and. I'm pretty confident then that Hub will solve that problem as well. So when you when you have uh, more and better sales, um, that you will have also better integration into your service products uh, and delivery processes. Yeah, back to you, Anna. All right, thanks a lot. Um, in the meantime, we received a question from Max. How should the pricing look like? Will it be possible to structure the pricing depending on the volume purchased? I think that's another question for Christian. Wow, um, good question. I like the question, um, and I have to say, uh, we will we will explore different options um, to 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 really um, to price our product ideas. Um, but that will be really depending on that we deliver value for. The seller and the and and the buyer side. The higher the value, uh, the more likely people uh, are willing to pay for our ideas. And until that is not ready, uh, Max, um, I, I I would really not know if it's depending on volumes, depending on time, depending uh, on on anything. Uh, what came? What maybe you can dream of or th uh, think of at the moment? So sorry, I have to be really awake with this at the moment. Okay, thanks a lot. We have another question from Ethan. What is in store for those of us in North America? Again, great question. Um, uh, obviously, Follis does not operate at the moment uh, warehouses in the United States. And, um, but it is, it is so that um, we foresee that a hub works regardless of the location. So um, we call, uh, uh, we don't necessarily think it's a proprietary soft uh, platform for follows warehousing or follows logistics, but we obviously want to integrate other warehouse and warehouse solution and other logistics partners in that sense, so being a transport operators. Um, we, we have two different ambitions in that field. So uh, being at a competitors or anybody, I mean, or a, a warehouse, uh, let's say out of the outside of the follow scope, we want to um, generate a via VHub um, email service uh, with order, orders to execute logistic services or execute basically releases. Uh, and in the second step, we want to offer uh, to those warehouses uh, outside of Europe or being at a competitor inside Europe, we want to offer uh, a web front end so they can really execute, see the orders a little bit like VHub, but more on the, on the warehouse keeper side. So I hope that does answer your question. Okay, um, that was actually the next question as well from Michael. Will you integrate other warehouses from competitors? I think that's clear now. Um, Max uh, wrote something else. Sorry, I did not mean it like that. I meant if a seller can offer the coffees listed on the hub with different pricing models. Let's say if a potential buyer takes 20 bags, it would be cheaper if the buyer takes just two bags, for example. Right. Um, again, Max, thanks very much for the question. Um, we foresee that there is a um, obviously a, buy, a, a quote and bid functionality. Um, so that is one way of what we call negotiation. And then the secondary thing is that you can uh, you can uh, have different pricing uh, for different types of um, of uh, customers. Basically, this is. Um, uh, we have not a clear uh, path to this, but obviously um, pricing and, and um, the um, changing price levels depending on the volume will be a very important um, aspect. And this is an important aspect in logistics as well. So uh, normally uh, larger uh, customers tend to get better prices and, 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 and smaller customers tend to pay a little bit more, uh, but at the end of the day, they all need to receive great value. 
All right, he just uh, thanks uh, us for the explanation. Um, Max, join us for uh, for the support uh, as Marco introduced um, on the slide before. Uh, we have one more questions. Uh, one more question. We are not a Crops the Hub user yet. Would you recommend to sign up once the V Hub is live, or could we sign up now? I can say sign up now. It's it's uh, it will be uh, will be the same functionality as uh, as I said, just different colors um, and a different name. But it will be essentially until the beginning of next year. We'll say the same. So if you have the chance to enjoy really uh, a, a Cropster Hub now and then V Hub do it now, it's a great product and it will help uh, help in either offer your coffees and or uh, sell coffees. But no, what you're saying something. Just to jump, yeah, just to jump in quickly. We, we, of course, if you want to sign up right now, we are still here to help. So it has not discontinued. You can still sign up. You will get our support to get get going, uh, and then uh, come end of September or actually uh, October twenty. Now we have a date. Uh, come October twenty, everything will move over to Follows. And um, so yeah, please come on board. Uh, we are happy to to help, and then happy to make the transition, of course. Right, thanks a lot. We have another question. Do you plan financing assistance for exporters and importers? I guess it's a question uh, to me again. Um, mm -hmm. Mike, I can say that uh, we as followers don't do this uh, currently. We just had a request uh, again. We, we had several requests in, in the past. Uh, we, uh, we are not uh, planning this as part of a, of a VHUB initiative. If you if you think that you need uh, certain financing uh, assistance, um, I, I would say you 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 contact Marco, uh, and then we can see what we uh, can do for you. Having said that, we currently don't do that. All right. Thanks a lot. Are there any more questions? If so, please post it in the chat. If not, um, I would say thanks a lot for all your questions. Um, I think it was a lot of input for now, um, but the webinar has been recorded and will be shared afterwards. Um, Thanks a lot to the speakers. Um, thanks a lot to Cropsa team for organizing, producing, and hosting this webinar together with us. Uh, thanks to all of you who joined us. And yeah, please feel free to follow us uh, either on the Instagram or LinkedIn. And we look forward to the future with you. And uh, yeah, we will keep you updated. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs>